This video will guide you to create items or enter the stock of it in bulk either by using excel file or text file. For that go to the setup option on the main screen and from the first page of the setup go to item option. Go to the upload items option and click on it which will display a warning message that is this functionality makes bulk changes to your data. We suggest that you should back up your database before making bulk changes to your data. Do you want to back up your database now? If you say yes, it will open up the location where your database backup file is going to be saved. If you say no, it will directly open the window import data for items. You can create many items in the system by uploading a Microsoft Excel file. If you have the Excel 2007, and the later versions click on this option. If you have the older version of Excel click on this option. In case if you do not have a Excel installed you can go for a text file. Clicking on this option will bring up the information message of where this text file is going to be located. In the text file you will see that the options will be displayed with values separated by vertical bar. To know more about the upload data columns you can also view our help documentation here by clicking on help. To get start, let's select any one of the option here. I'll select Excel 2007 and later versions which will display our information regarding the file location which will be automatically created. Click on OK which will open the Excel sheet. Here the columns do not need to be in any specific order. You can rearrange column order in any way you want. The first column is of category. This column must have a value. If the category you have specified in this column does not already exist in your database, it will be created. You should be careful about typing mistakes in this column. If you type something wrong, a category with that wrong name will get created in the database. The next is the item name. This column is mandatory. If there is already an active item present in your database with the same name, Upload will check if you have specified any value in barcode column. If you have left barcode column blank, Upload will give you an error since there cannot be two active items in the database with the same name and different barcodes. If you have specified a value in barcode column but it is different than the barcode of the item with the same name already in the database, you will face the same problem. If barcode you have specified is the same as the barcode of the item with the same name already in the database, the existing item in the database will get updated with the data specified in your uploaded file. The next column is of new item name. This is an optional column. If you want to change the existing item's name, only then you need to enter a value in this column else this field can be left blank. If you enter a value in new item name column, you must also enter a valid value for item name and barcode. The next column is of barcode. This is an optional column. You can even remove this column from your upload file if you plan to auto create barcodes for all the items being uploaded using upload file. If you specify any value in it, upload will check if database already contains an item with the barcode value you have specified. The next column is optional. If you want to change the existing items barcode, only then you need to enter a value in this column. Else, this field can be left blank. The next column is an optional one. That is the search code. Value specified in this column corresponds to the search code you would like to specify for the item. This can be left blank. You can also remove this column from your upload file if you don't plan to use it for any of your uploaded items. The next is the option for name in the regional language. This is again an optional one. If you want to give a name for your item other than English, you can specify the name here. In our HTPOS item details window, you have a settings to set your regional language font. You can also remove this column from your upload file if you don't plan to use it for any of your uploaded items. 
The next column is of the description. Value specified in this column corresponds to the description you would like to specify for the item. This can be left blank as it is an optional field. You can also remove this column. The next field is sales measuring unit. You must have a value in this column. This is a string value you specify to indicate the unit of measurement of the item while selling. For example, you can add kg, gram, liter or quantity. If the value you specify here does not exist in the database, upload will create a new measuring unit in the database for the value you have specified in this column. Be careful about typing mistakes in this column as if you type something wrong, a new measuring unit with that wrong name will get created in the database. Next is the purchase measuring unit. This is a string value you specify to indicate the unit of measurement of the time while purchasing. For example, again it may be kgs, grams, liters, etc. If the value you specify here does not exist in the database, upload will create a new measuring unit in the database for the value you have specified in the columns. This column must have a value for all purchased items. This column is optional if the item is not purchased. Be careful about typing mistakes in this column as if you type something wrong, a new measuring unit with that wrong name will get created in the database. The next column is of the conversion factor. This column must have a value if the item is purchased. This is useful if the item is not sold in the same quantity as the purchase quantity. More information on this conversion factor will be provided in the HTPOS help documentation. If you do not enter any value in this column, it will be considered as 1 by default. The next is the sales price. This column must have a value. Sales price is inclusive of all tax. The value you specify here will be saved as the item sales price in the database. The next is the MRP, which is an optional column. Value specified in this column corresponds to the maximum retail price of the item. The item is sold using the sales price and not this MRP column. This column may be used only for display purpose. You can also remove this column from your upload file if you do not plan to use it for any of your uploaded items. The next optional field is Weighing Scale Item Code. Value specified in this column corresponds to the Weighing Scale Item Code setting of the item. You have to specify any valid number for this column. This is the unique number of the item in Phoenix Weighing Scale. The number should be between 1 to 4000 and you can only specify the maximum of 4000 items with weighing scale item code. The next field is sales tax name and sales tax percent. These columns are optional. If you do not have sales tax applicable for the item, you can even remove these columns from your uploaded file. You must specify a value in sales tax name if you are specifying a value in sales tax percent column and vice versa. Upload will check if a tax with the name you have specified in sales tax name column already exists in the database. The next option is of the stock and go down name. These are the optional fields. These can be left blank. You can even remove this column but if you specify a value in stock column you must also specify a value in the go down name column and vice versa. The value you add in the stock column will be added to the item's existing stock in the go down specified. In the go down name, you can also specify the value as default. Upload will consider go down as the default go down of your currently selected business location. If the go down with the name specified already exists in your database, the stock will be added to that go down. If a go down with a specified name does not already exist in your database, a new go down with the specified name will be created in the database. Be careful about typing mistakes in this column as if you type something wrong, a new go down with that wrong name will be created in the database. The next field is location in go down. Value specified in this column specifies the location of goods in the go down. 
if location with the name specified in this column already exists in your database the existing stock as well as new stock you are adding will be assigned to the go down location you specify in this column if location with the specified names does not already exist in your database a new location with the specified name will be created in the database and then assigned to existing and incoming stock be careful about typing mistakes in this column as if you type something wrong a new location with that wrong name will get created in the database this is an optional field and can be left blank or can be removed the next field is purchase price it is an optional field and can be removed it can also be left blank purchase tax name and purchase tax percent these columns are optional if you do not have purchase tax applicable for the item you must specify a value in purchase tax name if you are specifying a value in purchase tax percent column and vice versa if there is a mismatch between the two values upload will not accept the record and if the tax name does not exist in the database upload will create a new tax in the database with percent amount you specify in the purchase tax percent column be careful about typing mistakes in this column as if you type something wrong a tax with that name will be created in the database the next field is is active this field is an optional one if you do not include this column in your upload or leave its value blank the default value will be considered as yes you can activate or deactivate many items at once by using this column if you need to add a new item with the same name and barcode as an existing item in your database use this column to first deactivate the existing item in the row before the data row you will create for the new item you can also remove this field the next option is of has label value specified in this column corresponds to the has label setting of the item this is an optional field and can be left blank if you leave this value blank or remove this column the value will be considered as no if you specify this value as yes at that time of receiving item or at the time of invoice you will have to enter the label number for the item for that item if you are specifying the item if you are specifying the receive item entry details in this upload then you can also specify the label number for those many items you are receiving you can also remove this column if you want you can specify values yes or no the next is label number this is an optional field and the value specified in this column will be saved as item labels you can give comma separated values here only when has label is yes so items which has has label setting as yes and also in the upload file if you give the receive item entry detail then this value will be applied otherwise the value will not be considered 